Today we're working with Louisa, who's been rehabbing from a left ACL injury in preparation for her surgery. Let's see how she's progressing. First, we use the Dynamo to track Louisa's knee range and quad strength. And Louisa on my mark. Three, two, one. Go start to straighten nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. And relax back down. Your injured leg still experiences a bit of a discrepancy in range of motion, but now let's look at your strength. And three, two, one. Go push, 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 push. And relax. Your symmetry between your injured and uninjured leg is continuing to improve. However, your strength is still down relative to the population. So we're gonna to wanna to continue to work on your quad strength in the lead up to your surgery. Now we'll use the human track to assess range of motion and symmetry in Louisa's squat mechanics. We've already got previous assessments from the past that we can compare to. All right, Louisa, when you're ready, what we'll do is start by doing one squat. Perfect. From the time of your first squat to your most recent squat, your range of motion, mechanics, and symmetry have all improved. Now we're gonna use the force decks to do a counter movement jump and two single leg jumps to see how Louisa's lower limb power and asymmetry are tracking. Hands on the hips. Louisa, when you're ready, you're gonna jump as high as you can. And go for it. Awesome, and onto your right leg. Single leg jump as high as you can. Go for it. Nice, and left leg on your ready. Your symmetry is continuing to improve, which I'm really happy with, especially in the takeoff. Let's take a look at the recording. And just scrubbing through, we can see how symmetrical your takeoff looks. Good progress. Now we're gonna use the force frame to assess the strength of Louisa's hip muscles, which are important for stabilizing the knee. All right, Louisa, when you're ready, touching the inner paddles. Three, two, one, go. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Excellent, relax. And touching the outer paddles. Three, two, one, go. Push, 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 and relax. So your injured side has improved in adduction and your symmetry in adduction has improved. However, your injured side has gotten a little bit worse in abduction and so has the asymmetry. So those are some things we'll need to work on. Because Louisa's surgeon will be using a hamstring graft, it's important that we assess Louisa's hamstring strength using the Nord board. All right, Louisa, when you're ready. Awesome, and walk back in. Really good. Because hamstring strength is typically impaired following a hamstring graft, I prescribe Louisa some strength exercises using Nord board training mode. Based on your testing results, we can use training mode to set a predetermined force threshold within which I want you to train. So aim to keep your force within the green. If that's too easy, you can always modify the threshold on the fly. That was a really good session today. It's nice to see how well you're progressing in the lead up to surgery. What we're gonna do next is I'm gonna send you an outcome measure, which is a questionnaire that's going to essentially ask you questions about how your knee is tracking. I'm gonna send you an educational module, which is gonna give you some information on what to expect around the surgery. And lastly, I'm gonna send you an exercise program that's gonna target a few of the things that we assessed today, just to make sure that you're continuing to progress well into your surgery. All of this will be available in your Move Health app, where you'll be able to complete the measures, modules, and programs I've assigned to you today. And you can also see your results from some of the tests we did. Great job today, Louisa. Make sure that you continue to log your sessions in the Move Health app. That way I can continue to keep up with your progress.